What is up, YouTube? This is DEFCON 3 Security coming at you from somewhere here on Spaceship Earth. I know it's cringy whenever I say that. I um I don't sometimes I just don't have a have a uh an intro or I don't know how to break the ice. So I do that. But um in this case I'm I'm in my FJ cruiser. No reason, just sitting here. Um was trying to think of some content things to talk about sometimes I hear things and I'm like oh I want to talk about that on my channel and I forget um or sometimes I'll um literally just sit and try to think of things right so I'm not making any sense okay I'm tired look guys Talking is not always easy, especially when you're not going off of a prompter. You know, I'm not really reading anything. I'm, uh, I generally freestyle all my videos. Not that it's anything impressive, but, you know, sometimes you may wonder why I have a, a lack of direction in my videos. And uh, one of the reasons is I do try to keep it real. I try to keep it raw. I don't try to go off of a prompter. I don't try to use notes. Having said that, I do have some notes today because I have some statistics. Now, <clears throat> I think I'm going to like this video because it's some cool information. When I, when I had my Mustang in the chop shop, right? That guy had my car for like eight months, maybe nine months. So close to a year, right? I had somebody in the comments write, bro, looking at your car, that person did nothing to it. Like literally, it's actually backwards. Like the work he did brought my car fur further back, right? It's in worse condition than when I brought it there. But somebody wrote, the guy did nothing to your car other than sand it down. He's like, had you spent five minutes a day for those nine months that he had your car or one year that he had your car, you would have had 30 hours worth of work on it done. So had I worked on that car five minutes a day for every day that he kept it, I could have gotten 30 hours worth of work myself done on it. And I'm thinking, damn, time does add up. I really should have worked on the car myself for one year. And I would have gotten further along than, than he has. And I actually proved it to myself. In the last three weeks, I brought the car from, from basically destruction to a reasonable car. Here, I'll give you another little look. I'm inside the, there's the Mustang right there. So as you can see, it doesn't look too bad. Now, of course, I'm like 30 feet away from it. So you don't see all the little flaws and they're there. I won't lie, but it's definitely a lot better than, um, than when I got it back. And that's about three weeks worth of work. And when I say three weeks, I'm not talking like eight in the morning till six o'clock at night. I'm talking a couple hours here, a couple hours there. And that's where I got it in three weeks, you know. Um, so. <laughs> train of thought. Boom, it's gone. All right. So. So five minutes a day would have gotten me um, one year. Let's see. I'm trying to do the math. I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sort of all over the place. I got that COVID memory, I guess. Um, so if I worked on the... So so the guy had my car for one year. Um, if I... You get, you get what I'm saying, right? Five minutes a day equals almost 31 hours that I could have put toward the vehicle. All right. So I also heard a saying a while back. And I'm almost tempted to just start this video over, but I'm going to push through, guys. I know it's just sort of, I'm just distracted. I'm, I'm looking straight ahead. I'm looking at somebody doing something. I'm like, what, this, what is that guy doing? I'm also trying to 
think of how to what direction to go with this video um and i really don't have any direction and i'm thinking of a side thing i'm like should i talk about this right now or should i keep on the subject because some a little side story popped up in my brain but um let me kick my seat back a little all right so i remember years ago when i worked at a retail store i went to use the bathroom and that was kind of my like I would get like a 15 minute break, a 15 minute break, and then a 30 minute break, if I'm not mistaken. But I would also go to the bathroom for 10 minutes a day, even if I didn't have to go. I would literally go into the bathroom and just sit there on the toilet and get on my phone or whatever, just 10 minutes. And I remember <clears throat> somebody bringing that up to me like, bro, every day you go to the bathroom for like 10 minutes. What are you doing there? And I'm like, I do nothing. I literally, I mean, I guess I could use the bathroom sometimes, but sometimes I would just sit there and, and just be on my phone or just chill. I would literally just sit there and be like this, like, oh, God, what a day, what a day. I don't want to be here, right? So <clears throat> I did the math and it turns out that 10 minutes a day on the bathroom at work, right? 10 minutes a day, assuming I work five days a week, in one year, that means I spend 2,600 minutes in that bathroom. So every year, I cost the company 2,600 minutes worth of time where I'm just sitting on the toilet. If you do the math, that's 43 hours a year I sit on that toilet. 43 hours. Now, the average work week is... 40 hours. So I am literally sitting on the toilet one week out of the year paid for, right? So normally you get one week vacation per year. I'm getting one week paid time to sit on my butt literally in the bathroom. So again, you could see how time adds up. And when I'm always telling you, know your value, know your worth and value your time. This is what I mean sitting on your butt for 10 minutes a day at work will run you 40 hours a year. Having um, my car in the shop for 10 months, one year, nine months doing nothing, had I worked on it five minutes a day, I would have gotten further along than this jackal did with my car. It would have been 31 hours worth of work. And that's approximately how long it took me to get my car to where it is today. It was about 31 hours worth of work. All right, more. The average person watches YouTube one hour a day. That is 365 hours a year. That's a lot of time we waste watching YouTube. Now, if you're watching something constructive, you're learning, you're feeding your mind. You're not wasting time, right? You're improvising with your time, if that if that works. I don't know, improvising with time. Does that work? Anyways, so 365 hours a year spent on YouTube. I definitely know I watch one plus hours of YouTube per day. Of that one hour, I'd say 80% of it is educational or informative or just something that's helping me grow. And then that other 10% is just nonsense. Watching videos of knockouts and people, karma, instant karma videos, people crashing, or you know, stupid stuff, right? It doesn't really help you out in life. So then I started really thinking about it like, damn, 365 hours a year. What could you do in 365 hours that you waste watching basically television? That's what YouTube is, right? Um, turns out that 20 hours is all it takes to master your kitchen. So 20 hours is all it takes. You don't need 365 hours. You need 20 hours to master your kitchen. And what does that mean? Okay. So here's the deal, man. You could prepare. You could learn how to prepare five amazing chef-style dinners 
with 20 hours worth of study. Five meals. And that seems like a little long. You're like 20 hours to learn how to cook five meals. Well, I'm not just talking about cooking. I'm talking about the whole process. All right. So you... Um, and I'm, I'm being extreme here, right? But just showing you how valuable time is and how much we waste of it. So let's say you're getting ready to cook this gourmet dinner. In that 20 hours, you're going to uh, you're gonna learn so many skills. And I'll tell you all the skills you're going to learn in 20 hours, right? It's not just how to cook the meal, but more importantly, how to prepare the surface. So in that 20 hours, in four hours, you can take a class on how to sanitize a surface and you can get a certificate saying, hey, this guy is, is certified in, in preparation. He knows bloodborne pathogens. He knows how to clean a surface. You would uh, pass an OSHA class in four hours worth of studying and be able to prepare the surface and actually pass an inspection, right? That leaves us with 16 hours. Those other four hours, you could learn how to sharpen knives before you're um, you know, before you prep your meal. So in four hours, that's all it takes to learn how to sharpen knives like a pro. So now you've cleaned your surface with that, you know, and, and you're certified to do so because you, you took a four hour class and you studied for it. You know how to sharpen knives before your meal and that skill will follow you forever. So now you are, a, I wouldn't say you're a master knife sharpener because there's one thing learning the skills. There's another thing like developing that skill. So now you've learned how to sharpen all the knives in your kitchen and you know which knife to use for which piece of meat you're cutting or which vegetable you're cutting. Also in that four hours, since, since we're on the topic of knives, you will have learned how to cut things properly. And, and you know, sometimes I watch people on TV and they'll chop a carrot up super fast or a piece of celery. It's because they know which knife to use and they know the technique. Me, I just like chop it up, but I didn't know that you could use the ends of your finger to act as a guide to move the knife back and you chop things more efficiently and more cleanly. And so there you go. In that four hours, you can master knives. And then over the course of your life, you're going to develop that skill and get even better, right? Then there's the whole, uh, there's the whole filleting, like how to clean the fish, how to descale it. If you have chicken, how to debone it, how to, all of that, you can learn that in four hours. I, I looked up online and I typed in how long would it take an average person to learn how to fillet different fishes? And it says roughly an hour and a half or two hours worth of instruction. You could learn how to fillet just about any fish or any seafood in the world. We're talking mussels, clams, fish in two hours. The same is true for poultry as well. It takes about roughly two hours worth of, of, um, instruction on how to clean a chicken, defeather it. And I was talking to my best friend yesterday about this too. And he was like, dude, I would love to learn how to get a chicken prepared for dinner, like from alive to killing it, to cleaning the feathers. And I'm like, wow, yeah. Um, I don't know how to do it, but I'm sure in an emergency, I would figure it out. And over time, I would learn the right way to do it. But it turns out it takes about two hours to learn if you took a class, you could learn within two hours how to clean just about every animal in existence and prepare it for dinner. You know, back in early caveman time, we just threw things on the fire, not knowing that those internal guts can also actually get us sick if we don't take them out before we cook, etc. And this is something you would learn in a four-hour class. How to clean a fish, how to clean poultry, uh, how to clean deer, you name it, right? And then now we've got like... Another, what, what are we at? Four, eight, 12. We've got another six hours. In those six hours, we will actually take a class and learn how to prepare five five-star dishes. So you can learn how to cook five of your most favorite dishes and be able to eat every single day of the week based on that skill you learned. And you'd learn how to cook it properly. And so there you go, guys. I mean, I could drag this on forever. But basically... Five minutes a day in one year, that's roughly 31 hours. Imagine how much stuff you could learn if you just took, like today I wasted five minutes watching nonsense videos, that's for sure. 
And in a year, that's going to equate to 31 hours. What I should do is take uh, that time that I waste and put it toward a skill. 365 hours a year are wasted watching YouTube on, for the average person. And I'm not the average person. I guarantee you I watch way more than that. And maybe you do too. And if that's the case, let's say you double it. Now you're watching 700 plus hours a year on YouTube. In 700 plus hours, you could actually learn a trade. You could learn how to become an uh, intermediate plumber and get yourself a new job. You could. There's just so many things you could do with 750 hours. You could, you could become a smog technician. You could learn, um, you, you name it, right? So for this reason, I just tell you guys, value your time. When I say value your time, I don't mean just, just you know, take in your environment and stop and smell the roses. I mean, don't waste your time. Know your worth. Know your value. Value your time. Above all, be safe.